Hey guys, welcome back. So I thought I would make this video really quick to help you with your virtual lab since we didn't have a, um, a live lesson for today. So there is a link both in your assignment and in your actual lab sheet that takes you to the virtual lab. And when you click on it, it should take you to um, this website right here. So the first thing you'll do is click on the background information and just read the background of Island Biogeography. And you will use this information to answer these five um, questions right here. It's actually four questions because one is click on the background information. So you can use that info to answer those questions. And then you do the experimental design. So it asks which ha habitat you're going to be investigating. It doesn't matter which one you choose. Um, if you go to the run experiments, it is already on a tropical habitat, but you can choose um, any kind of habitat you want. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I'm ready for cold weather, so I'm going to do the tundra. Um, so then you will um, do use the arrows to change the islands and you want to record their diameter and their distance from the mainland. So you want a small island close to the mainland, a small one that's far, a large one that's close, and a large one that's far. So you just want to make sure that they look pretty small. So you can see island um, one and two here. You can change the distance. So I'm going to put island one far away and I'm going to make it small. Um, the diameter is right here, so I'll click down. I'll make this one a small island. Um, and then I'll also make, let's do the small far away and let's do island two far away as well. So I'll move this one far away. You just have to record these numbers here. It doesn't matter what the exact numbers are as long as you have a small one that's far, a small one that's close, a large one that's far, and a large one that's close. Um, so you can also choose which kind of organisms are migrating. So we have arthropods, birds, reptiles, and mammals. Um, let's see, I like reptiles, so let's do reptiles. And basically what you're going to do is come down here after you record your islands. And you can do this first, but when you go back to do your experiment, you just want to make sure that all the parameters are the same. So if your small island um, that's far away is... Um, 270 kilometers far and then 100 or 96 kilometers in diameter, you want to make sure that these parameters are the same for the um, experiment on the bottom. So you're going to leave migration the same and basically you're going to, when you're ready to get the um, data for each one, so you can do two at a time. So when you're ready to get the data, you'll just go back here and you'll click pause and then here are your um, organisms on each island. So it looks like we've got one on island one and we've got a bunch of different ones on island two. So if you click on the two data, it will give you your species and your island count on each one. And that is what you will record um, in your um, data table in your virtual lab. Okay, so you have to click pause whenever you're ready and then you can go to your data. So everybody's data will look different. Um, and you just want to make sure that whatever island distance and diameter you recorded in the first one, you carry over into your experiment when you're pausing and you're calculating the, um, the species. So then once you get your data, you will convert your data into a bar graph um, of the type of island and the average number of species. And you'll paste that below. Um, and you can do that in Excel. If you guys need help with that, let me know. And then you will just summarize what you found. Um, and then you should have your hypothesis. So remember, you're just looking to see what type of island will have the most biodiversity here. So what we should be finding based on our lesson is that your larger island that is closer to the mainland should have the highest rates of biodiversity. So that's what we should be finding here. Um, but if you have any questions about this, let me know. You're just doing this um, virtual experiment and then you are... Um, recording your answers and putting them in this document and then sharing it or uploading it directly to Canvas. So if you have any questions, let me know. I hope this was helpful. Um, and again, if you need help with the bar chart, I can do that as well. 